hello friends welcome to the my channel engineer choice in today's video we will discuss load duration curve so to understand the load duration curve we need to understand the load curve and we already discussed about load curve in part 5 video and if you have not seen you can visit my playlist or I will give the link of that video part 5 so let's see the load duration curve okay when the load elements of curve are arranged in order of descending magnitude the curve thus obtained is called load duration curve okay when the load elements arranged in descending order here the load elements arranged in descending order and this is known as this curve is known as load division curve this is our load curve and this is load duration curve okay let's understand the what are the difference between these two curves okay first see the similar points okay in y-axis we draw load in megawatt same in load duration curve we draw load in megawatt in axis there is time in hours similarly in load duration curve there is time in hours okay now see the difference here the load elements are drawn randomly not in descending order but here the load elements are drawn in descending order okay we can draw the load duration curve this curve from load curve how okay let's understand okay we have a given data and we draw the load curve from this curve we can draw this okay first let's understand okay first let's see the maximum load here 20 megawatt is a maximum load so according to the, the definition we have to plot the data in descending order means first we have to draw maximum then more so then less and less less okay then this 20 megawatt is drawn first then after 15 megawatt is less than 20 megawatt then we draw 20 sorry 15 megawatt then 5 megawatt okay then how can we draw okay we have to see the time difference okay in 20 megawatt we can see the time to friends from this point to this point that is 8 am to or 8 to 16 then what is the time difference 8 hours similarly we have to show the 8 hour difference from 12 midnight to 8 am is 8 hour difference likewise 15 megawatt is there how how many difference how many hours difference 12 mid to 4 am means 4 hours difference similarly we have to show this 15 megawatt this point 4 hours difference between these two point see 8 to 12 is 4 hours difference again 5 finally the 5 megawatt is drawn and from 12 to 4 there is 4 hour difference so we have to show the 4 hour difference from 12 to 16 and this 5 megawatt there is a 16 to 24 there is 8 hour difference same thing we have to do here this there is between this point to this point 16 to 24 hour is 8 hours difference okay let's understand this point the maximum load is represented to the left okay 
the maximum load is represent to the left this is the maximum load so we have to represent at the left and decreasing loads are represented to the light and decreasing loads are represented toward the right side in descending order okay the area under the load curve is equal to equal to area under load duration curve okay there should not be difference between area of these two curves there should be equal area we don't need to decrease or increase area and that is main point we have to take care the load duration curve gives the data in more pre presentable form okay load duration curve represent data in more presentable form that we can also see from this graph there is a quite different quite difficult to re find out the maximum or minimum load elements or load but from load duration curve we can easily find out the maximum load and minimum load because it is arranged in descending order that's why it is easy to study this graph now we are in end of our session and if you guys like this video you can subscribe my channel like share and if you have any question or confusion you can comment in comment section and thank you